Welcome back, everybody. We're going to open this door today. Hello, it's Kari, one of the owners here at Legacy. Are you ready to open this door? Well, if you are, this video is going to show you what happens inside. What's safety? How can we keep you safe? But you got to listen to the rules. All levels of boys will enter through the team side of the building through the door by the birthday room. A coach will be present to signal when each gymnast should approach the door and when they can enter. Once inside, the athlete will stop on the X to remove their shoes and any extra clothing and place them in their backpack. Please see the email from your coach regarding what you should have in your backpack. The coach at the door will instruct the boys to either stand and wait on an X in the birthday room or to wash their hands and report directly to a specific event. In the kitchen, athletes should stand at least one X away from each other and spend a full 20 seconds washing their hands before reporting to their first event. Making sure to maintain proper distance at all times. Each area will have designated spaces to stand. When they get to their first event, athletes should find an open X on the ground. They may set their backpack down and stand there to await instructions. The floor will be split into two sections. There's three on this side, three over here. The second set of floor will tumble into the pit off of floor. Use tumble track, rod floor, a space over here, and the tramp. Tramp may be used by either floor or vault as a station. For waiting on vault, there are three X's on the tile floor that still provide walkways from the hall to the fast track room or around and to the bathroom. There's an X near the water fountain and two X's at the end of the vault runways if needed. There's an X on this side to listen to coaches' corrections or to watch your TiVo. This X may be used to wait for tramp or as a floor bar station. The fast track room is set up for two different configurations, one along the walls and a separate one in the center. If you're told to go to the purple foam floor, please stand on one of the X's. For green gym vault, you'll find one of the green X's by the vault stations here, this one on the floor, or either of the two by tramp. For green gym bars, you'll find one of the purple X's by a bar, floor bar, or the wall. For purple spring floor, you'll come over to one of the yellow X's. There are more X's than necessary, so we can accommodate various mat configurations. For quad bars, you'll go to one of the green X's on the outside of the bars, by the pull-down bar, or one of the X's on the floor for side stations. The boys' area will include stations for different events, including a floor station, a spot on high bar, and a spot on the floor, either to wait or for a side station, both sets of rings, and the P-bars. All right, group. Jaden, you're going to be on the third high beam. You're going to be on the second high beam. And you're going to be on the first high beam. And we're going to start with a series when we have three in a row. Come back to your original X, and then we'll be hand sanitizing before I give you your next assignment. Okay. All right, high bars group. Okay, standing at your X, you're going to get your grips on, get your own chalk bucket out of your bags. Okay, Jesse, you're going to be at the first team bars today. Start. Okay, you're going to be starting with tacachos when you've got five hot. Then we'll have everybody wash their hands and we'll rotate. Athletes will hand wash or hand sanitize between events and will be instructed by their coach on the best path through the gym to their next event. For both the men's and women's room, no more than two people should be in the larger bathrooms at a time. Please wait outside on the X until you know whether there is space for you inside. While in the bathroom, please keep distance. If you both come out of the stalls at the same time, have one person wash their hands while the other waits back. Remember to wash your hands both before and after using the bathroom. Bathroom doors will be partially propped so gymnasts can check occupancy without entering. For the hall bathrooms, you'll wait at one of the indicated X's for an open stall. When you're next in line, please wait at the X just inside the birthday room. Again, 
Remember to wash hands both before and after using the bathroom. Some equipment and areas will not be available at this time, such as the exercise balls, the rowing machine, treadmills, bikes, and other exercise equipment, equipment and props on these two shelves, and all drinking fountains, the pro shop, the snack bar, equipment and props on these shelves and in the green bucket, these beams, all of the ropes, this middle low beam, this high beam, any open foam, low strap, the brown low bar, the Excel locker room, the JO locker room, and the team entrance. There will also be no food or break at this time. In the event of an injury, a coach will wear a mask to come close to assess the situation and offer help. If a gymnast doesn't feel well, a parent will be called from either the gymnast's or coach's cell phone. Sick athletes will wait on the bench in the lobby until they are picked up. The bench will be disinfected after use. As practice wraps up, athletes will be dismissed in waves, one athlete at a time, one event at a time. Hey girls, your practice time today is over. Hang tight. we got to make sure that we dismiss from bars first. Okay, Jada, go ahead and put down for every backpack. Go wash your hands on your way out. Just hang on a second. Okay, Jesse, you're dismissed. Go ahead and wash your hands. Athletes will again wash their hands while maintaining distance. They'll make their way back through the birthday room, one tape mark at a time, towards the door. There, they'll put on clothes and shoes and exit to their ride. 